the following problem, we're asked to solve these equations. Uh, these are just equations with fractions, so you just treat them like normal fractions. The first step is to get the 2, two and 1 fourth x by itself, so we just subtract 3 fifths. So that means we're going to have 2 and 1 fourth x, which I'm going to go ahead and um, change to 9 over 4 because I think that's, it's always easier to work with improper fractions, equals 1 and 3 fourths. Well, 1 and 3 fourths is the same as 7 over 4. And when I, I need to do 7 fourths minus 3 fifths, so I need to get a common denominator. And the common denominator is just 20 it's for both of these. To get to 20 from 4, I need to multiply by 5, so I'm going to multiply 7 by 5 to get 35 over 20. And then it's minus, because I subtracted 3 fifths, and I multiply 5 by 4, so it's going to be uh, 12. A positive 12. So that means 9 fourths x equals 23 over 20, because 35 minus 12 is 23. Multiply by the reciprocal. 4 over 9, we multiply by the reciprocal so that this becomes 1x. 4 over, 4 over 9 times 9 over 4 is 1. That's the property of reciprocals. When you simplify this, the 4s cancel out of here, and you're left with a 5 and a 1. So x turns out to equal 23 over 45, which is the best answer you could put it in. Don't convert that to a decimal. Just leave it as a fraction. Okay, number 2, same thing. Treat them like fractions. So we're going to add 4 ninths. This is a negative 4 ninths, so we do the opposite, which is add it. So over here, we're going to add 4 ninths. That leaves us, this is a negative 3x, so it leaves us with a negative 3x here, equal to, and it's going to be negative 1 fifth plus 4 ninths. And the least common denominator here is also 45. To get to 45 from 5, I multiplied by 9, so this becomes negative 9. To get to 45 from here, I multiplied by 5. 4 times 5 is 20. So that means I'm left with a negative 3x equals 11 over 45. And then the way you simplify, get rid of the negative 3, is either divide by negative 3, or you could also multiply by its reciprocal, which is going to turn out to be easier, times negative 1 third. So that's going to cancel out the negative 3. Negative 1 third times negative 3 is positive 1. So that leaves you with x equals 11 negative over, well, 45 times 3 is 135. And that's your answer to this problem, negative 11 over 135.